Hey, how's it going everyone? How are you guys doing tonight, today, wherever you're from in this beautiful world? Um, so I'm going to do a beer review that came from, it was sent from Regopolis, all the way on the East Coast, um, over to me in Oregon. So uh, thank you, Regopolis, man. You rock, dude. Uh, you and Bear both rock. I can't wait to get Bear's uh, beer made, doing a triple New England IPA. First triple ever. And then I'll be doing a... Uh, New England, uh, just a regular single uh, seven or maybe seven two, somewhere in that range for uh, beer hounds. So, um, this one today is from Regopolis, and this is from Dewey Beer. These guys are out of uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Milton, Delaware. Okay. Milton, Delaware. It's a Dewey beer out of Milton, Delaware. It's their Moulo? Moulo? Moulo au chocolat? Moulo au chocolat? I b totally butchered that thing. That word, name, whatever. But it's molten lava cake and Dutch cocoa. It's a 12% dessert stout. Um, I'm assuming an American stout made in Delaware. Yeah, cool. Never had anything from De Delaware. This is really cool. I am really dying to try this. It's a really cool label too. I like how it's cut around their uh, name and all that. Kind of pinches back in the back. That's nice. Molo, molo, molu, molu, molu o chocolate, chocolate, o chocolate, molo, molo o chocolate, chocolate. Okay, this was, um, there's no date, and I'm not concerned about it, because the it, it's a big beer, and it's a stout, so I'm not super concerned at all. Let's go ahead and open this up. Open this up. Open this up. Open this up. Don't you just love that sound? Dewey beer. Woo, it smells good. Oh, boy, that smells good. Complex. Pour it. Oh, dark, chocolatey oil, almost black. I'm gonna have to give the, some of this to my wife. She might like this. So poured that, um, not super aggressively, but did pour, and it did still give me a nice uh, half a finger head, pinky finger. It's got some chunks in there, I see. It's got a little bit of, uh, it's kind of a medium low carbonation. It's got a um, cocoa head, colored head. And I got a dirty glass. Sorry. It looks nice, opaque, can't see through it. Dark brown, dark chocolatey brown. Has a nice silky kind of, uh, uh, real silky head. Uh, the bubbles are really silky. It does have some bigger bubbles in there. But uh, really nice, looks great. It's, uh, it's wow, I mean, it, it looks like a dessert. Let's smell it, let's go on the nose. I get sweet cherries, chocolate cherries, those kind of chocolates with the cherry inside, and it gushes out like, uh, like a candied ooze. What are those called, I forgot. It, um, I don't know, that, yeah, that's the, wow, that smells good. Chocolate, German chocolate. Yeah, like, like Germany, German chocolate kind of thing, that rich chocolate. Cherries. Um, kind of a, like a semi-sweet, um, pushing milk chocolatey kind of smell. Also has like that idea of possibly like, not idea, it didn't make sense. Like it has that of like you're getting like a, a hit of like a little bit of Baker's chocolate too, like a, a like a, drier more bitter chocolate in with this nice sweet semi-sweet kind of chocolate and then you get that then you get like a like a vanilla you get a a, a cherry the cherry um bomb things or whatever they're called i forgot what they're fucking called german like chocolate almost like a slight hint of coconut very slight vanilla coconut or something wow god damn Woo! I get a little bit of, um, like almost like a brown sugar. Caramel, big time caramel. Very big caramely kind of a thing going on here as well. 
Fuck, let's, let's get into this. Cheers. Whoa. Oh, man. All right. There's a lot going on here. Like the first, the first thing the uh, that I sensed is um, maple bar with some like raspberry or cherry um, syrup on it or something inside of it. With a little bit of like a hint of like semi chocolate and a little roast, some co a little bit of coffee roast. There's some vanilla coming through. There is still slightly like a, co a coconut. This is very smooth, very thick mouthfeel, um, very viscous, and um, a full full body, full body. But it has kind of a drying effect in the back. So it kind of lifts everything. You actually get like a tart or a tangy, sweet, like um, cherry raspberry kind of uh, taste going down the throat along with that like chocolatey thing. It does kind of taste like you ripped into a, one of those bomb bomb things or whatever with the cherry things. The cherry cordials, that's what they're called. There's a slight hint. You get the... Um, Bugs, you get the caramel, you like a caramely kind of um, vibe going on. Like you get that caramel flavor, um, the chocolate, slight hint of coconut and vanilla. Sweet, but also has kind of a a cherry raspberry tartness, especially in the finish. Very nice. You don't really get a whole heat. Bang here, you know, I got sticky lips though. Um, could have milk sugar in this, I don't know. But for 12%, I mean, you're not getting anything going up in your nose or anything. You know, it's like, it's just no, no fumes, no alcohol, nothing crazy. It's just going straight down and very dangerous. This would have, I think my last two words for Wednesday were dangerous and bold. And this would have been one of those. This would have been dangerous and bold. <laughs> Fucking beautiful. Beautifully orchestrated in their, in their brew on this one. Very good beer. I'm going to let my wife try it and see what she thinks about it. Um, molten Dutch cocoa. Okay, Dutch cocoa. Molten lava cake. I don't know what's in a lava cake. Molten lava cake. Well, I know chocolate, isn't chocolate run off of it? Isn't there cherries or like raspberries or some kind of berry like syrup coming out of it as well or something? Um, but anyway, out of, thank you, dude. This is great. Very good. Out of 10 hops, I would, I would give this uh, 9.8 hops. This is absolutely beautiful. 9.8, I'll keep it there. I won't go like straight up like 10. But definitely nine eight, and which is a very very good beer. Um, awesome. Thank you. You guys have a good night, day, wherever you're from, this beautiful world. But not after one more sip, for sure. This is going up there, dude. I'm gonna put the can up on my, on my wall, on my thing up there. I have little lights that come down. I'll put it up there. Pinkies up. Cheers. Getting some cola. And root beer now. That's weird. Okay, bye.